Welcome to Metafix, critical thinking for competitive play. Now this week, I want to take a little bit of time to talk about two figures that actually deserve kind of their own episode when it comes to the Joker's Wild Set. Um, those figures are, of course, the Super Rare Prime figure number 53B, Jakeem Thunder, and the Bizarro Green Arrow figure number 66. Now, a lot of people are talking about these figures, and a lot of people are questioning why everybody's talking about these figures. We're going to spend a little bit of time just kind of deep talking about what these characters bring to the table. Now, for one, we're talking about Jakeem Thunder first. And we got a 140-point character. And this 140-point character of his own accord brings one to his... Has an 8-click dial. Uh, so it's going to take you 8 clicks to KO him. In addition to which, uh, he's got a pretty good set of powers. Off the start, he starts with 18 defense with energy shield. Uh, his first 5 clicks have probability control. His last 3 don't have any powers. Uh, his first 2 clicks have energy shield. Next four have toughness, the next two have regeneration, then his movement powers include sidestep, phasing, stealth. Nothing off the cuff amazing. He's also got an eight range of two targets. He does have the JSA team ability, allowing him to share or receive defenses of other JSA team ability or characters with the JSA team ability. Now, why this is uh, an important element here. Uh, or why this guy is being talked about is, in fact, his trait. You know what I'm thinking, Johnny. Uh, and what that power reads is, at the beginning of your turn, choose two standard powers, but only one of those powers may be defense, uh, defense power, hypersonic, outweigh, perplex, or pulse wave. Jakeem Thunder can use the chosen power until your next turn. Now, when you talk about a dial that already comes with a pretty good power set, uh, it's pretty thick, and then you can now choose two standard powers to go with it. You're talking about a character whose stock value got increased significantly. Now he only does, already does fly, but he does lack indomitable as a as a defense symbol. And I went and threw the card. <laughs> uh, what's important about mentioning that is that he does technically have willpower so long as you choose it. But of course, well, that will leave him very vulnerable to damage on some turns, and you do have to be careful with that. Now. Where people are having the conversation, it's the comparisons that are being drawn to the zombie super scroll. Now, one of those comparisons, of course, is his point value. He's 30 points less. He's got a quite a deep dial. Um, but then the comp that's where comparisons start to really get different. Apparently, in those 30 points, you could get healing. Uh, you could get a really difficult character to kill. Uh, you get four powers to choose from at the cost of taking some damage. Damage that that figure could definitely afford. Um, in a nutshell, this is the Zombie Super Scroll Light. But then, when we are having this conversation about Jakeem Thunder, the Zombie Super Scroll is no longer in modern. So the comparison is easy to draw because he's like, but not as good as. Uh, in addition to which... Jakeem Thunder does gain some from the JSA team ability, but loses that, you know, extra shape change that was given from the uh, the Zombie Super Scroll. There's a, there's a lot of push and pull with regards to the conversation. What is unavoidable is he is a very flexible character. He's a very strong character, and he does get better when you bring him a little bit closer to the points of the Zombie Scroll. But what I mean is you include something like the equip characters, such as uh, Eclipso, or Brainiac. Now, what that means is you've taken the need to pick a power on Jakeem and put the onus of the powers on those characters. And what's more is they come up with some pretty strong defensive powers. If you look at things like Invulnerable or Impervious, uh, now you no longer have to take one of those slides. You can use the, uh, and the, the equipped character and then start choosing powers of Jakeem Thunder's volition without having to worry about that limitation. You can start taking Running Shot Pulse Wave without having to worry about some form of retaliation. You can take Hypersonic with Precision Strike and happily not worry about losing out on that defense power. Uh, so you, that's where a lot of the conversation starts to go as well. Um, now when you talk about the Rock Limited format as well, he's very, I, I've seen him in action and he does do fairly well. 
he does still have the same problems that a lot of figures are going to have. Uh, he doesn't kill devil dinosaurs and Mephistos as quick as we'd like him to. Um, that's that's a given. And you know he doesn't he doesn't do all that stuff I just talked about in the limited format, but he does do a, enough because there's a lot of stuff not happening. Ultimately, it's a conversation worth having. He's not a bad figure. He is a very good figure. He does take a little bit more work to pilot than the Zombie Super Scroll did. He's definitely not on easy mode. But he can be a very successful figure in the right hands. So do keep an eye on Jakeem Thunder and be aware of him and be ready to have to take him on in some cases. And that, the flexibility that he brings is a very frightening thing. So then we next move to the other figure people are having a conversation about, and that is the Bizarro Green Arrow. Now, the dial itself is a six-click dial, uh, and he starts with Invulnerable on his first click. His next three clicks are Toughness. His last two clicks are a special defense power, which is read Stop. Bizarro Green Arrow can use Toughness. He's got that twice, so when you get to that last click, then you get to the last click again, then <laughs> you can possibly kill him. Uh, but he's got a number of things going for him outside of that. He's got a special ta damage power, which he has on all six of the clicks. He also has sidestep to start as well. Um, and his trait, uh, sorry, the special damage power is when Bizarro Green Arrow is the target of a ranged attack, you may give Bizarro Green Arrow an action token to modify the attacker's attack value by minus two, uh, its damage value by minus two, or, its combat, or both combat values by minus one. So a reverse ranged combat expert that forces your opponent to kind of look at it and go, if I hit him, I'm probably not hitting for as much as I like, and it better be penetrating damage. That said, uh, he's also got a trait. Me, the world's greatest archery target. When an adjacent friendly character would be targeted by a range attack, Bizarro Green Arrow becomes the target instead, even if it would be an illegal target. And that is where people are having the conversation. For one, when he's a target of a range attack, he can use a special damage power to drop the damage, drop the attack, make him harder to hit, etc. Uh, and that, that's vicious. In addition to which, if he happens to be adjacent to somebody being targeted by a range attack, he becomes a target and then is able to do that effect. Which is even more vicious, if you think about it. You go from, okay, well, I'm hard to damage, to not just me, though, him, too. And a lot of people are talking in the sense of, uh, you can get around it. But what, when they have this conversation, here's what they miss. You have to get around it. <laughs> Bizarro Green Arrow now officially exists in the, co in the competitive metagame. People are going to bring him. And he may not be brought out initially, but... This could end up having the effect of the, the copycat from Deadpool, where people planned for it, nobody ended up bringing it, until somebody brought it, and then did some damage with it. Right off the cuff, this character doesn't seem like he's going to do a lot. But when you think about the protection level that he brings to your team, and the amount of work, of, of stuff that he can do in order to stop that. A lot of people say, hey, you can stop him with energy explosion. Well, you can, so long as I don't drop your attack to a negligible level that you can't hit, or I drop your damage to zero. Uh, it's, it's bananas what he's possibly capable of. Uh, if you do see a potential attack that might not be ideal for Bizarro Green Arrow to take, <coughs> he starts with sidestep. Sidestep out of it. Ultimately, the conversation worth having about Bizarro Green Arrow is you do have to know that some ways you want to play him. You either plan to use him or plan to go against him. And in those two levels, you got to also think about the other end of that. So if you plan to go against him, you might have to plan to use him as well. Vice versa, if you plan to use him, be ready to go against him, right? Bizarro Green Arrow is a, an insurance policy that a lot of people, though I initially dismiss, Got to look at the big picture and the fact that when you have a conversation that says, oh, I only have to do this, 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 and this to deal with him. Well, you better be bringing that because he's coming. <laughs> just, just, just going to happen. So anyway, all that said and done, uh, both are really good characters. Both are definitely worthy of the conversations that are being had about them. And I do want to continue the conversation, of course, guys. So check down below in the comments. Get your thoughts in on this. Uh, are these guys worth worrying about? Are these guys, like I said, definitely things that you have to plan for? Uh, is Green Arrow dismissible, but at the same time, 
do you have to dis- uh, do you have to deal with him? All of these are things that you got to really put some work into when getting ready to deal with figures out there in the game. That's it. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, and remember, when you're getting ready to play with or use Dream Thunder or Bizarro Green Arrow, the practice makes your team better. <laughs> Mary with Clicks is brought to you in part by MajesticCCG.com. Check out the new premium site with MajesticCCG.com slash Apex-Insiders. Check the link below. Trust me. <laughs> Trying to remember that for me talking? Not going to help. You'll get awesome articles at $3 a month, with the first month being free, from amazing writers such as Paris Gordon, Easton Brock, Aaron Cantu, I'm even going to be contributing occasionally, and if you're familiar with the Metal Lab, check out some of Mike Payne's articles. So, check it out again, MajesticCCG.com slash Apex-Insiders for your look into the minds of some of the greats.